I'm here with Peter Villa from DR. Yeah. Peter, what's your role in the company? So uh, I'm a, a, a software architect, really, but it's since uh, because of my work in DR for many, many years, I have uh, a lot of knowledge across the, uh, across the, 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 the company. So I use that as well. Okay. Yeah. And um, what was the thrust of your presentation here at the conference? I think the the the, the thing that we are in DR focusing on on, on UHG is really um, reducing the cost and uh, maximizing some some user value for it, right? So that's that's really what we're trying to achieve and and trying to understand what where the users are at right now and when when it's becoming important for them. So how much of your output is in is in UHD today? Not a lot. I think it's, uh, I think we have very, very few programs, uh, pieces of content, like uh, maybe three or four series. So it's not a lot. Yep. And, and, uh, but it's all by, <laughs> by design. That we, we don't think the users are there right now. And mostly we want to be ready to when they are. Uh, so so that's, that's the, our mission on, on UHC. So you're not seeing a great audience demand for better resolution? For a very, very small group of users, it's super important. And, and uh, so, so for them, it's, it, it's something uh, that, that is, is interesting, but it, it's not, it doesn't seem to be a, a very broad demand in the market. Uh, but that doesn't mean that we don't have to be ready to, to, to do the transition. And, and it means that, uh, yeah, nobody wants to be that uh, uh, local television station that, uh, that really is not on par technically. And I think that's, that's really our mission more than being first, so <laughs> not when, being last. <laughs> when, when would you expect the majority of your output to be in, in UHD? That's a very hard question. I think really, really we're just following the market. We're trying to, to, uh, to be being flexible in the right places and, and trying to uh, just as part of the re acquisition of cameras and editing suites to, to understand what we do want to do. Uh, so I, I, I don't actually have a good answer for that. I think it, it depends on where the users are in the future. So uh, over the last few years, we've all been living in what they call interesting times. Yeah. What kind of changes have you observed during that time in, in your area? I think, of course, there's a lot more. It, 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 it's mean that there's a lot more streaming going on generally, and it is very obvious that uh, people have chosen to, to buy a, a lot of new equipment. And that's very obvious from, from our internal numbers. Uh, but still with that huge uh, buying of new equipment, it's still, UHD is still small. So you mean new, new TV sets? New TV sets and with built-in uh, WebOS and uh, Tyson and stuff like that, that will be able to support it. Um, and in, in Denmark here, we don't have as uh, big problems with connectivity. That's a, it's a small country with very, very good uh, uh, bandwidth uh, in general. So that's not our big problem. Uh, the big problem is still the, the, the platforms and the, the screens that people watch on. So looking ahead, what, what are the big changes you expect? What are your, what are your predictions? Oh, predictions, ah, that's... Um, I think uh, that's a that's a good question. I, I don't I don't I don't have a lot of predictions on this area. We're just we're just very following this very closely and and trying to to yeah to avoid being last. <laughs> well, let, let's push you a little bit. If you know you you talked about you know how how well developed broadband is in in Denmark. Yeah. For example, will you still need terrestrial broadcasting in the next? I think, yes. I think the, 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 the two ways that DR is, uh, traditional ways that DR is uh, distributing the content is uh, as terrestrial and as cabled uh, 
a cable solution, right? And, and the terrestrial part is, is just very clear that we don't have the bandwidth to do UHT at all. So that's probably some, not something that we will invest a lot of money. Uh, on the cable part, it's, I think it's more political and more, it, it, it depends. Yeah, so it's hard to, to know, but it, of course in, in DR we do want to, to focus on streaming, but uh, in what, uh, we are public broadcasters, so we, we don't make all the decisions ourselves. You're obviously here in, in, the, in the Nordics, generally relatively small players on the yeah. global stage. Yeah. And, you know, there are some pretty big companies who have come into your market, particularly yeah. some of the, the global streamers. Yeah. How, how do you remain competitive in the face of that kind of entrance? I think it, it has to do with having your priorities right. Because even though it's obvious that, especially in this area on UHD, the, the big players, they're there right now. They, they have all this technology ready. But that doesn't mean that DR should be there, or should, should do it as well, because we have a different budget. We are a, a player in a different size. So we, we need to play to our strength, really, more than, uh, when, when, than, uh, than they do, <laughs> uh, because they're so big, right? So um, I think, yeah, it's, it's, I think it's, it's to do with being, being able to, to do uh, some of these things in a smart way, really, right? So you talked about your priorities. What, what are they? <sighs> yeah, I think it's... Um, I, 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 I'm, not, uh, I'm not sure I'm able to, to speak for, for the, all of DR in this area, of right? Uh, I'm in, in reality, I'm, I'm uh, a small player in, the, 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 in DR. So I'm, I'm just saying that we're trying to, to get the cost low on HDR. That, that's something I know about. Yeah. 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 Peter, thank you yeah. very much. Yeah, thank you.